Are we having fun yet? Yes, we are. Welcome to the kingdom. I'm Andy, and welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. So we're going to be working on turbo fuel today. We're going to plan it out. We're going to figure it out. And um, I have a few disclaimers before today's episode. A, this episode is going to be now mod uh, vanilla plus. It's going to have two mods in it. Uh, the first mod I'm going to be putting into this is permaday and permaday is simply for you guys it is entirely for you guys i no longer have to worry about you not being able to see what i'm doing when i'm doing it now that there's no such thing as night on this planet anymore the second mod i am putting on here is the statue mod uh, the statue mod is there because <laughs> i kind of trolled jace and snut and, um, yeah, it was fun. But another famous YouTuber, or at least more famous than me, um, well, no, he's famous, uh, suggested that we would put it in things as like a Where's Waldo type thing. So keep an eye open. It could be anywhere. And, um, you know, maybe you can comment down below when you see it. I don't know. So... Yeah, basically that's what I'm gonna do, and uh, let's let's get into this. So yeah, there's the mods underneath thing. I I might have put them already out. I might have not. It doesn't really matter. I don't know if you can see it or not. I know where they are. Okay. <laughs> so we have for those who um, want to watch this one versus the other one that I'm going to do, which is right after this one. I usually record the uh, beginner series and make it as easy as possible so you have a jumping off point. But we have two uh, recipes that we've unlocked. The alternative heavy oil residue. So this one takes in crude oil and takes that and brings out two things. And one of them is heavy oil, which is awesome. Um, let me quickly get back into fuel. Um, hopefully I didn't mess anything up. <laughs> uh, and then we we take that and we're going to be using the alternate turbo fuel heavy turbo heavy fuel recipe so let's figure this out so the, we also need compacting coal which is why we did for two episodes we got the compacting coal so let's let's figure out right over here we, we don't need to go over there to do this we just need to figure it out so we can explain it to everybody so refinery number one we have in and in out. So in and out here. And we're going to uh, kind of steal. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. So we're going to uh, steal some all right, logistics. We're going to steal some, uh, some oil from this particular pump for our uh, little deal we're going to do. And we're going to use alternative heavy oil residue. Okay. Another thing we need to do is we need to get some power over here. So let's uh, quickly grab power. Power this one up. And this one should start running pretty good. And we got good fuel. So that's good. Okay. So what do we do here? We need to then, of course figure this out we're going to okay do this special we're going to do an awesome sink because this is going to make extra stuff and that we'll be grinding that up but we're making now heavy oil residue. Then we take from this heavy oil residue, we're going to get another refinery with the inn over here. Go back to logistics. We do the pipeline. It's going to go like that. It's going to go into this one, and this one is alternative turbo heavy fuel, which uses combat coal. Now, 
Um, for people who are asking the question, why are you using this particular, why are you using two recipes versus just one? Why don't you just make fuel and then turn the fuel into heavy fuel? Well, the reason for that, and I'm going to explain it again in the uh, that other episode, and uh, this is, I, This is, this is facing the wrong direction. It's facing the wrong direction. We need an in over here. There we go. That's the way we're supposed to have it. That's the way we're supposed to have it. So this goes in there. So this is why this is why we're uh, we're figuring out here. So you can see all the mistakes I make. I make a lot of mistakes. Some episodes you don't ever see the mistakes because I hide them all. But in this one, I want you to see all the mistakes I make because it's it's much, much better that way. Okay, and so on this one, we're gonna make the alternate heavy fuel. So, back to my other story. The reason why we're doing this is the big limiting factor we have on this type of setup, the fuel burning for electricity setup is pipes only have a certain amount of amount of liquid that can run through it at any given moment. And we can't change that. We can't upgrade that. There's no alternative way to do that unless you have mods. But we're not using mods. Well, we're not using those type of mods. So, so we want to get electricity running. And uh, so now this is sit there. We're going to make turbo fuel. And then the turbo fuel will then go into power. So power, we're gonna get a fuel generator. We're gonna flip it over. And logistics, we're gonna pop this in like that. And then this one, we'll plug into that. So like for this one, just for fun's sake, I'm going to get rid of this wire right here. And I think everything should be running perfectly. I shouldn't have any downtime. This should all be now self-sufficient. So, um... Okay, this is... Oh, this is not telling me what the max is. Well, I was told that this now runs way, way better. Running 60 and where capacity is 150 megawatts, megawatt hours. So 150 megawatts per machine. Okay, run over here. Some reason that doesn't sound that doesn't sound better. I thought it was more than that, but I might be I might be completely off here. Uh, this is making 150 megawatts from fuel. That's what the other one was doing. What's going on here? I was told that it runs. Each one produces more electricity. So, I might have been looking at this wrong. But it says 150. Four point, okay, let me see how long it takes to consume one few in, in seconds. You get 150. I guess that's that's pulling fuel. That's interesting. Okay. So 150 40 at 40% 40 efficiency. Hmm. Well, I know that I'm going to if I can't uh, run the stuff, I will be able to run more machines if it's not working like that, but I'm not 100%. I'm not 100%. Because I do know I could run more machines on it. 
So we need to run on like this up here where we can run more machines, which is very nice. Takes 15. We consume one fuel in it. And it makes 150 power. Your then one was 4.5 for 150. That's interesting. Okay. So let me let me figure things out. We're, 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 we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. So it's now running on the whole thing. I'll turn this on standby. So let's see here. When we have a full production, that's fine. But right now, its capacity is... Fifteen, 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 six is the highest I've seen it. Okay, turn this on. Fifteen, seven, fifty. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. More efficient alternative fuel used in fuel generators. Can I, can I grab some? Can I, can I, oh yeah, I can't put it in pipes. Huh. Well, I do know. I guess the only way we're gonna we're gonna really really know it is when we put it in and we start working on it. But we look how simple that was. I mean, that's really simple. But let me uh, let me uh, figure out a way to get the fuel out so I can I can think about it and find out that other information I need to know because now I'm curious. I haven't been able to really really play with it with this new way of doing things. So let me go figure all this out and I will be right back. Okay, I'm a dork. So basically, because it 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 runs it at a faster rate. You get you get more more energy out of it in the long run. You just don't see it. Um, like for this one, I'm using uh, nine point one a minute, and it just produces a whole bunch of electricity, and it's awesome. And we're gonna have some great times. Uh, I might have to go out and get more of these though, to really get the energy uh, like at full capacity. But um, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. So uh, I'm going to have to set this up, get everything situated just the right way. And um, we're going to have fun. Because next episode, I'm going to start installing it. So uh, power-wise, we have an excess of... An excess of... Four thousand. Four thousand. And this needs to be done. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to separate. And, uh, this one has one pipe. I'm going to go to two. Down this row right here. So like it comes in. I'm going to come in and split to two pipes. Because I can. I'm going to split it to two pipes. And then I'm going to go right left. And it's going to convert. And then right and left it's going to convert. And then there are two pipes that are going to come in, are going to be in the center then. So it's going to go in the center, split out, go on the outer, split in, but still be two pipes going down the line. And that way, left and right are, are different. And I'm curious. This is 3,000 right here. Awesome. So the, the, the big question is, I can take this whole line off, line, completely offline, and not affect a single thing out in the world. 
in my world. And we can then figure out how many of these are going to be used. Because right now, it runs down to, I think I have a cutoff somewhere around here. Well, this one's kind of using it. I guess this is the one that it works occasionally and doesn't work another occasionally. So I could, like, <laughs> it gets a little bit of fuel and then runs and then stops. So this is why this line right here is the line that I should have, I should have stopped it, like, right here. I really should have stopped it right here. These ones should be off and not being used. And the rest of these, since I cut them down, will uh, get to full speed and not have any problems. And now, because of that, if I hit this, well, I can go to these things now. This, this should be a little bit less jaggedy. Look at that, way less jaggedy. So the object of, of in the end is all this jaggedness is because I have a little bit too many power connected to whatever line it is. And I will be tweaking it. We will get this line completely, perfectly set up. And the way it is, you for a line, it's it's about 300 M3. I don't, I don't fully understand what M3 stands for, but it's like square meters, I believe. Um, because this one is uh, the impure one, but this one I can it's it's at full capacity because uh, we have it fully boosted. Whereas I have some pure over there, I have them fully boosted. I shouldn't have them boosted at all. I don't know, it's, it's over there, fully boost boosted at all. And um, let me get my. Uh, that, that's not what I meant to have. So, these powers right here, just, when I get it set up like this, it will be just so much more. We're going to have so much more fun. And uh, I'm very, very curious in how much power I can get out of this generator itself. Why am I down here? Okay, so, um, yes. Thank you guys for, for putting up with this episode. This is always the planning episodes are a little bit more hectic when I'm doing stuff. I don't edit anything out because I want you to know that it looks like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. <laughs> I just, you know, you talk through it. And, and for me, I talk out loud and um, I talk, I have to answer myself because you, you guys can't talk to me while I'm figuring this out. But you get to, you talk to me guys later and I always get great insight from your comments. So uh, thank you guys very much. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. If you love what you saw, hit the subscribe button. Thank you again for coming to hang out with me today. And until next time, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Signing your arm shot.